In this video, we're going to learn how to select and handle our fonts within Adobe Illustrator. So first, we're going to be starting by selecting our fonts. I'm going to be selecting that one for instance. And we can be selecting our font from our control bar or our character panel, clicking that little arrow in here. And you will be seeing all these fonts installed on your PC. So it could be quite hard sometimes to select your favorite fonts while you're having too many fonts within your PC. So now we're going to be learning how to use filters to select our fonts or even favorite our most used fonts. So let's say you like that Tecton Pro font and use it quite a lot. So you can be clicking that star in here to favorite that font. And also let's say you like that font as well in here and maybe that Times font as well. And now you can be quickly accessing your favorite ones by clicking that filter in here to see only your favorite fonts for a quick access. And of course you can be removing them from favorites by clicking these stars again. And you can be clicking that star again to clear filter and accessing all fonts again. Or you can be filtering your fonts based on classification by clicking that little arrow in here. You will be seeing all these classifications for fonts. Of course our main classifications will be serif fonts and sans serif fonts. However we have even more subcategories like slab serif or script or handwritten or decorative. You can be selecting maybe sans serif fonts and you will be seeing only the sans serif fonts. And same as well for serifs or even you can be trying the handwritten if you're looking for something like that. Or you can be accessing the slab serif which are containing also some serifs. However, they don't look very classic as you can see. You can see the difference in here. Maybe a font like that could be looking quite modern and could be used maybe for some fun project or something maybe related to kids stuff as I can imagine for that one. Or you can be trying maybe the monospace for fonts like that. Or of course you can be selecting maybe the serif fonts which will be including all these serif fonts. And of course you can be showing all classes again by selecting that one. And now let's say we're going to be selecting that font, Geneva. We can be using that filter in here to identify similar visual fonts like this one. So I'm going to be clicking that one. And you will see that Illustrator is picking all these fonts in here, which are similar visually to our original font. And as you can see, they are looking quite similar to our selected one, which could be very helpful in some cases. So now I'm going to be clearing that filter in here and also you can be adding fonts from Typekit to Adobe Illustrator instantly by clicking that button in here which will be taking us to typekit.com and you need to be signed in with your Creative Cloud to have your chosen fonts from that website installed either on your Adobe Illustrator or even Adobe InDesign and Photoshop. So here you can be searching for any font or you can be filtering them by classification from here as well which is so helpful or even by recommendations whether it's better for headings or paragraphs or even according to properties you can be selecting from any of these properties in here or according to language and script support so let's say we need to install that acumen font in here which is created by adobe typographer and it's including 90 fonts you can be synchronizing any of these fonts instantly to your Adobe Illustrator by clicking that sync button. And once you go to Adobe Illustrator again, you can go to your font selector and you will see that Typekit filter, which will be showing only fonts downloaded from Typekit, including our recently downloaded font. So let me clear that filter again and back to all classes again. We're going to be seeing our recently used fonts at the top in here. And some of them will be having TT next to it, which means true type font. And some fonts will be having O letter, which means open type font. And some fonts will be having open type along with var, which stands for variable fonts. And these fonts are recently added to Adobe Illustrator. And they are quite new, we're gonna learn more about them in a second. And also we're gonna be seeing SVG fonts, which are also new fonts. And they are also open type fonts. But let's start first by the variable fonts. So I'm going to be selecting that one for instance. And once you select a variable font, you're going to be seeing that icon in here. Variable font. 
which will be allowing you to access these options for your font allowing you to access your font weight for all these variations of your font and if you are a typographer or even if you're so into typography you're gonna be loving these features in here or even you can be controlling the width maybe getting your font to be condensed like that and it's not only getting closer in spaces these letters are actually redesigned for that purpose that's why there is no many variable fonts recently but hopefully they will be increasing soon and also we have the slant or the italic of our font and we can be controlling our slant angle like that for maximum customization of our font and of course controlling these values will be giving us maximum control over our font and also instead of selecting from all these font styles in here because there are so many variations of that font so as you can see here we have all these wide options for our font which is amazing of course but could be also frustrating sometimes and before we talk about the SVG fonts I would like to talk first about the glyphs which are actually different shapes of our letters or even special shapes or characters within our font so if we select our type tool and maybe select that font in here which is Arno Pro and that font already includes too many glyphs so we can be changing our E letter shape instead of that shape we can be selecting maybe that shape and also for N we can be selecting that N letter and B we can be going maybe for that shape and actually there are no many options for O letter and also maybe for Y you can be selecting maybe that shape and so on of course you can be opening glyphs also from type then selecting glyphs and you will be seeing glyphs for the entire font so here we have the Y letter selected and you will be seeing that little triangle in here which means that we can see other shapes for the same letter by clicking on it we will be seeing two different W's for instance and also for N you can be seeing these two different shapes in here and as you can see we can be inserting any of these glyphs within our type by double clicking any of these letters so we can double click that and shape and it will be inserted within our type and we can be restoring our Y maybe by inserting that one and of course you can be seeing all these different shapes for your open type font which are called ligatures or liga and it's like when the F and T letters or L letters will be meeting how they gonna look like you can be choosing their shape and also you can be finding other shapes or all these different language letters or frictions you can be finding them in here of course you can be filtering them instead of the entire font you can be selecting maybe all alternates for letters or small capitals from capitals or old style figures or even ornaments and you will be seeing all these stylistic sets in here which are also a new feature in Adobe Illustrator so instead of inserting all these glyphs within our letters letter by letter within our words we can be selecting a stylistic set so we can be selecting maybe stylistic set number one and that means that all the Q letters within that set will be looking like that and W letters will be looking like that and even in different languages it will be having that shape or that shape for small capitals you can be choosing maybe stylistic set 2 and you will be seeing that F letter will be looking like that in stylistic set 2 so all the F letters within your paragraph will be replaced with that F letter shape instead of replacing each and every one manually which could be taking some time so how you can be applying stylistic sets on your type which you can find also from window type and choose open type and that panel is giving you even more access of your open type fonts of course not all open type fonts are including all these options so here maybe if we have the F and I letters we can be selecting both of them and maybe applying that shape to change them like that or we can be disabling that Liga again to have them as they were and same as well for ST letters we can be selecting them and applying the Liga which is gonna be giving us that shape within our font so let's choose maybe a different font like this one and you will see that our font is changed already in here 
let me move that panel a little bit to that area and selecting from our sets I'm gonna be selecting the straight L in here and that will be replacing our L letter to straight one and we have also within these sets some alternates for our A letter G and serified I and slashed zero so let me type these letters within our line in here selecting the type tool typing maybe G I zero and I'm gonna be selecting the entire line going to stylistic sets and I'm gonna be applying straight L which is gonna be transforming our L letter like that and also I'm gonna be applying alternate G and I think that one should be applied on only small one so now we have that G shape and let me go and disable that one so we have these two different shapes for our G letter and also we can be serifying our I letter to make it even clearer so that one in here looks like one we can be selecting the serified I to have these serfs especially on our capital I letter and also I'm gonna be applying slashed zero to have our zero very distinguished from the O letter so these stylistic sets can be very helpful and can be saving us so many times and also not all fonts including stylistic sets so in speaking of inserting all these special characters let me close that glyphs panel and let's zoom in on that paragraph in here so if we have a type selected either a line or paragraph you can be right clicking that one anytime and you can be inserting special character either symbols you can be inserting maybe bullet or copyright symbol or trademark symbol so you can be inserting any of these symbols quickly from here or right click again and going to hyphens and dashes so you can be inserting slightly a longer dash like that one and the other one will be slightly shorter and we can be right clicking in here you can be inserting quotation marks either double or single quotation marks so you can be selecting maybe a double left quotation marks and they will be looking like that according to your font selection or you can be inserting some spaces by clicking anywhere maybe here and right clicking and you will be inserting white space character either longer spaces em spaces will be the longest and hair space will be the shortest space you can be applying or even you can be inserting break character which is so similar to pressing return or enter on keyboard and you can be changing your typography orientation by going to type choosing maybe vertical to go like that and you can be showing any hidden character within your font by going to type and selecting show hidden characters and you can see all the spaces or enters between your letters which might be helpful sometimes to detect your spaces so you can see the difference between these two spaces in here and that regular space in here so I'm gonna hide that one and now we're gonna be talking about SVG fonts selecting the type tool and creating line type going to character selecting maybe that SVG font it will be opening glyphs for us because that font will be including all these emojis that you can be inserting within your type so I'm gonna be increasing its size a little bit and if you type symbol digits they will be applied instantly from your keyboard however for these emojis they will not be applied unless you double click on any of them because each of them has its own different code you can see in here so it's easier to apply them from here by double clicking any of them and you can be selecting from all these different emojis so maybe you can be selecting a tree like that one in here and closing glyphs and now we have our line selected we can be converting that text into outline by going to type and choose create outlines so now we have our type converted into customizable vectors 
However, we cannot be editing that one as type or font anymore. So we cannot be changing its style or size or the kerning or leading for that font. So now we can be increasing that one's size a little bit and right clicking that one, choosing to ungroup these letters or these vectors now. And we can be selecting maybe that tree and we can be using that one within our vectors easily like that. So that's it for this lesson. Hope that was easy one for you guys. That was Khalil Ibrahim and I'll be seeing you in next lesson.